This morning we are celebrating Western New York this weekend. Like so many others, it is packed with events and festivals. Yeah, and the tide is turning though as we see more fall themed activities hitting the calendar. And Daybreak's Lauren Hall is live in the newsroom this morning with details on what you can do this weekend. Hey there, Lauren. Good morning. Good morning. We have several music events to choose from this weekend. First in Niagara Falls, they are holding their 14th annual Blues Festival. It's happening on Old Falls Street today and tomorrow. There's live music, local food and drink vendors, and it's all free. It starts at five o'clock today and then one o'clock tomorrow down in Ellicottville. It is rock and roll weekend. Live music will fill the village all weekend for free performances. And then on Sunday, more than 250 classic and custom cars will line the streets for the annual car show. Pretty cool if you've never been to that. In East Aurora, it's the Borderland Music and Arts Festival weekend at Knox Farm State Park. This year's lineup features the biggest headliners they've had in the five years of the festival. Goose plays tonight, then Trey Anastasio, the lead singer of Fish, is there tomorrow, and Goose is in on Sunday. As always, there are also activities for kids and an artisan market in the horse stables at the park. So we kick off on Friday at 1 p.m. Doors open at 1 p.m. on Friday and we'll go straight through till 8 p.m. on Sunday. And then we do on Sunday, we know it's the Bills home opener. So we're um, offering a huge tailgate party. We're going to have the game. We're going to have Labatt's Blue specials, beer specials. So come out and join us. If you can't go to the game, we're going to be the next best thing. You can get your tickets at borderlandfestival.com in person at Terrapin Station on Hurdle Avenue and at the door. Parking is $3 at the festival. You can also bring your own lawn chairs, blankets, all that stuff. More music events coming up next hour here on Daybreak, including the really cool viral candlelight concerts. They are coming to Buffalo. The first show is this weekend. We'll have all the details on your side this morning. Lauren Hall, Channel 2 News. Yeah, so much to choose from, Lauren. Thank you. Moa.